So, welcome to the technical walkthrough of Scare Hollow 2021. Yeah. So, I'm just going to kind of quickly walk through because I don't have very much time on this battery. Uh, I'm going to go charge it up. Anyways, you don't care about that. So, I guess we'll start on the furthest back. Um, one of the new effects I did this year, super simple, is I took this random statue that I have and I put a green uh, floodlight behind it and I've got these cool because I didn't want people to see all of this because I have a messy backyard and a messy side yard and these are all the things for Halloween I didn't use um, so some of that's gonna go away but so I grabbed we cut down a tree a couple years ago and I kept all these sticks and so I just made a big barrier of sticks but I also angled it so that I could go take these out and go back through here so then, when the fog comes out of the sarcophagus, generally every night, because of the, we get any, uh, we, I mean, like right now, there's a little bit of wind, you can see, you know, so the fog is, will come this way. So then, when it comes this way, you can kind of see the green light behind him there a little bit, but this whole area fills with green, and I'll show you a picture of this right here. So... But that really, you can't see anything back there when it's dark and it has a green light. Even without the green light, you couldn't see back there anyways. Um, so, uh, one of the things that I have in here is I've got smart plugs. Every one of these, I have, I think, three or four of these. These are TP-Link or they're CASA, uh, K-A-S-A. Um, and I'll put a link to all the things that I use. Uh, in the description below, but I put that right there. Fog machine's going off already, look at that. Oh, that's cool. I had planned, I had a lot more plans for this. This was supposed to be, um, it was supposed to raise up and down with the wiper motor, but that lid is really heavy because it's solid foam, and it's too heavy to, even with the wood cog, that wiper motor can't do it, so gotta get something heavier, heavier duty next year. But it still looks cool with the fog coming out of it. Um, so I have three of these throughout the yard um, controlling the three different basically the three different sections of the haunt but this one does all of this over here so there is a cord that goes into here and you've got the fog machine and you've got the little thing over here what's cool about this uh, this guy is that it's pretty much uh, waterproof in here nothing really got wet uh, other than the fog itself making everything kind of sticky wet you can kind of see it's kind of wet in there a little bit, but that's just from the fog. Uh, I've got a floodlight in there, uh, an RGB floodlight, and then there's also the run for the lights. And you'll see this throughout the rest of the haunt as well, but every one of these lights has, um, this is speaker wire, and it goes to these LED modules. You can see there's three lights on there. These, these are all warm white. Um, and the way that I did them this year, uh, if I can find the thing, there it is. So this year, I went to these quick connectors. So this week I'm gonna be making a bunch of more of these stakes with red or green lights. So then I can just click these out, put the red and green, red or green one in here, and I don't have to move my main wire for the next three months. Um, every one of those has one, evidently. Maybe I made that happen. Oh, yeah. So I got a bad connection there. That's my fault, but so um, I also got these things from, these are the uh, fire nice bulbs from uh, Spirit uh, and they just light up the tree. Pretty cool, I had those the other day. Uh, and I have these candles. I'm gonna be redoing some of these candles, but a lot of them are gonna stay. Um, these are my LED candles they, and they flicker. Uh, I'm gonna be doing some more distressing on new ones um, and probably gonna do a class on them this summer. Um, so we've got one down there too, but, um, so yeah, all these are all in a series. They're all in one line. Um, the line goes behind there, behind the stones, and then the wire comes out underneath the stone. Um, of course, electrical cords, all that kind of stuff. You, you guys know all that stuff. Um, for the mausoleum, a lot of people may not know that this is actually, so it's that thick of foam on this side. It's even thicker on the other side. And what it is... I did not plan that very well. But what it is, is it's it's just really thick foam. And it used to be a grow room. 
so you can see this metal siding right here was attached to it um, and which actually allows me to screw things into this on the inside which is why it stays up so well um, but it was from an indoor grow room before weed was legal here in Oregon um, so we have the fire lights from Spirit uh, last year I got those and they really look cool on here I was worried about them um, projecting a lot of light onto this and they didn't I mean they do but not as much as I thought again for this one same with the front windows that I'll show you here in a little bit I am going to change this to an opaque and see what that looks like um, I'm probably gonna do that before I change this over to Christmas because I do this for Christmas um, and see what that does I'm also gonna try to use the material the chiffon material and see what that looks like um, with these lights because they do they are they are pretty bright but that being in set um, does kind of help with you know but you can still see it everybody loves it it's not a big deal uh, so those are all hooked up and I'll show you the projector setup you've got a projector on a tripod with speakers going right to the back super simple um, that's one of the fog machines I use um, I've decided I'm not gonna show it tonight because um, it's raining a little bit and so I probably won't run fog tonight just to, for the video I made because I want to do my final video tonight too but we'll see but that's the Chauvet 1600 Hurricane. Uh, it's a great uh, machine when, they're, when the remotes work. Um, my remotes seem to not ever want to work long term. I think it's just because of moisture in the air. Um, because I bring them in if it's going to rain. I do, not, I do not put these out in the rain. Um, so, and that's another ground fogger that I got gifted. Um, so, the next side. So what I did was I ran, so there's a... Um, well, there's a smart plug right there, and that controls her, just her. Um, so she is on a um, Amazon smart plug. I've got another Casa TP-Link smart plug. This one runs all day and all night because it runs the 12-foot skeleton. And what I found out with the 12-foot skeleton is that his eyes will not go on if you turn them on and off. You have to go and press the button every time you want to turn him back on. There is a timer function, but it has to be plugged in all the time or put batteries in it. So I guess I probably could have put batteries in it. Um, but I decided just to put it on a switch. And so that is on all the time and so is that little light right there. So that's on all day and all night. Um, and so then his, his eyes never go, never go off and I never have to go up there and push the button under his butt. Uh, he is also up there with, um, he's on my chimney for my furnace so it doesn't get that hot. Um, and then of course his guy wires are attached and he's, I think there's, yeah, there's, uh, some, uh, uh, bungee cords, bungee cords go all the way around. Um, so yeah, so you've got a cord going up there and all that. Um, so yeah, she operates off of, and I have a, and I have a YouTube tutorial of how to do this as well. Um, the driveway alarm for, um, from Harbor Freight. So I have the receiver is here, um, and the sensor is all the way back over here. And there she goes. So as the kids are walking up here, they're, they're getting candy right here. She's already going in full swing. So before you would have to step on a pad right next to her and the effect is ruined. So by the time kids are done with the candy, She's talking. Yeah, when she was alive. Um, so there's an electrical cord that runs all the way back here to my cool board. That's my that's my board. Some of it I don't use anymore, but it's a computer power supply. Uh, and then it's got um, the GFCI outlet and the RCA uh, adapters for the for the uh, wires. Uh, there's a light switch there and everything. So I have 120 volt and or 110 whatever it is and then I've also got the 12 volt in there as well and there's an LED uh, RGB floodlight over there too so basically a lot of my power splices off of that um, I've got an electrical um, a, an extension cord that runs into here um, well this is where the wires run for the lights for this cemetery and that cemetery so the wires run out from there and go around there and one comes down here and comes into here and starts wiring up all these um, there's another uh, 
plug right here. That's another uh, smart plug. They are they are out they are outdoor and waterproof um, to a point. I mean, so that runs the electrical cords out to the yard here. So it runs the projector over there, the lighting, the light, um, the lightning, the perfect storm box, him, that projector, and on all the all the lights. Um, in here, I've got. Um, you know, I don't really care about things getting wet, so you can tell. And I just, you know, it's protected for the most part. It's off the ground. Uh, there's a projector in here, and it's doing the tombstone right there. Uh, I'm going to perfect that next year a little bit. This is kind of wobbly a little bit and not, not exactly straight, but all my projectors are inside the boxes like this, inside the uh, uh, tombstone boxes. Those are coolers, whatever you want to call them. Um, and this year I added a couple of, for this statue, I added um, these spotlights, these mini spotlights from Don Prusetti. Uh, he's going to be selling these later on, uh, later on this year, next year. Um, so they're little pin spots. They looked cool. Um, they're blue and white on this one. So I got the white on the face and the blue on the body. It looks, looks really cool. Uh, of course you got him, you know, everybody knows what he does. Um, but yeah, so I've got, and like I said, I don't care about things getting wet. These have been out here for a month. They're just computer speakers. Um, and so yeah, I got the projector inside there. And so the electrical outlet is in there too. It's one of the, it's, it's a three tap. And then over here is another one of these. And I got the perfect storm in there. I got the MP3 player in there. And again, you can tell I don't care about things getting wet. <laughs> um, then I added some. I added a dimmer switch. Uh, these these used to be on the mausoleum a long time ago, but I added them to the back of the pillars this year, um, and I got a dimmer on them so I can change the, the brightness. And of course, you have your you got your big dome lights for the lightning, and my those aren't on right now because they're on timers. But that's my new lanterns that way. Um, and yeah, like I said, all these have these new click-in lighting. So I can easily change them all out. Um, I added these little lights. I got these from a haunter last year, so they kind of they kind of lit the path for people to go. They looked really cool at night. Um, these are the on the, on the display this year in Spirit. They had these uh, five white lights, and they go solid and off and flash. So those are pretty cool. This is another RGB flood. Um, and these are really cool because you can change the color. There's like 300 colors or whatever you can do because it has like a dial you can go around to get the different colors. Um, and that's the window projections. And I'll show you the inside of those right here. So, and here inside the house is my curtains and everything, you know, my the, the two windows. And so we cover it with the um, shower curtains. We're going to try the... Um, opaque ones not the white ones next year and see if that does better um, but they are on this one's on a tripod behind the couch and see just a little projector one of those total home effects ones and then the other one is right here and so it projects right onto the windows so that's for the inside projectors into those two windows so yeah so like i said i'm going to try to change those out and try the different shower curtain uh, this is my fog chiller that I got from a hunter that used to live by my old house um, And I'll show you that real fast It it didn't work only because of the fact that we had wind um, Other nights it did work just fine Surprisingly enough it has been in the 40s and 50s and there's still ice in here. That's crazy um, So that actually keeps it really well. That was that was that was Halloween night That was a five o'clock on Halloween night and it's the second so this tub actually kept the ice in there very well so what I do that this has a screen in there um, it's got the it's got the louvered things so the fog goes in there comes out goes through here there's all ice in here comes out there and goes out through the pipe system I am going to extend that pipe system next year um, it's gonna be much longer and it's probably going to snake through the yard a little bit uh, more candles uh, I got the fog machine out here for Jack and Jill's well with the RGB flood in it as well so I can change the color of it whenever I feel like. And then of course another projector is in here. 
So, um, yeah, that's pretty much the technical side of the hunt. It's, uh, it's pretty easy to do. Lots of LEDs, lots of low, low voltage lighting. Um, oh, and I have a flood back there doing the same thing. I'm gonna add a fog machine back there next year. Um, there's actually two floods. One is coming at us and one is going up um, to light up the tree up there. I wanna do, I'm gonna add another, another RGB flood so it floods the trees more. And we're gonna add lightning to the back. I wanna get another perfect storm box and put it up there. Um, or I may just run a really long cord from that. Um, or I may put that somewhere in the middle of the yard and run cords up to there and up to here and have that light up with the lightning. Because all I gotta do is put two floods on the roof back there and it'll light up that whole side up there because those trees need to be lit up with lightning. So anyways, um, that's the technical side of Scare Hollow this year. Um, stay tuned for the nighttime video of everything when it's dark out. If you have any questions, you can always message me on Facebook or Troy Crivellone on Facebook or on Scare Hollow on Facebook or uh, you can comment down below. I try to check my comments as much as I can. But, all right.